Now, uh, we have seen uh, in the earlier lectures uh, that uh, we have some kind of the pattern appearing in these sparse matrix. For example, either the diagonal element is non-zero or on some triangle, maybe on the lower side or the upper side, the elements are non-zero or only the diagonal elements or the diagonal above this and diagonal below that are non-zero. So there is there was a pattern appearing in those matrices. But in most of the sparse matrices, there will be no pattern. And if we want to save the space for the storage by not storing the zero elements, then we will have to employ some other mechanism. So there are two mechanisms by which I can store the non-zero elements. For example, let's say we have a matrix. Check another row, Not, no element, non-zero in this row. So if you have to store this, this kind of the matrix with some mechanism, so we can employ two mechanisms here. One is by using a vector representation or a linked list representation. So either the vector representation or the linked list representation. So let's say if we are following the vector representation, in that case I will make a structure, let's say struct sparse, then I said integer row number and then integer column number and then integer data. So this is the structure we have formed. Then we will take the array, 1D array of this one. So struct sparse, let's say S. Total number of non-zero entries will be the size of this array. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So there will be 12 elements in this array. Fine. So if you try to store these elements, how will be the storage? row number, the column number and the data. So for this the row number is 1, column number is 4 and the data is 7. For this element row number is 1, column number is 5 and data is 5. For this row number is 2, column number is 2, data is 3, row number 2, column number 3, data is 4, Row number 2, column number 7, data is 1, and so on and so forth. We can store all elements. Fine. The, uh, another representation could be in the form of the linked list. The same matrix can be represented in the form of the linked list. In the linked list representation, we will consider that every node is having three fields, four fields in fact. One is the row number field one is the column number field, one is the data field, and one is the next field. Right? If we are trying to store this uh, matrix, then the first node will contain seven, sorry, the row number is first, column number is four, data is seven, and for the next element, this is row number one, column number five, data is five, and then next, similarly for this one, row number is 2, column number is 2, data is 3. For this element, row number is 2, column number is 3, data item is 4. And then for this element, row number is 2, column number is 7, data item is 1. And then next, for this element, 
it is row number 3 column number 5 data is 3 and so on and so forth so you can see that this is the final matrix uh, sorry final link list and there is a link between this one and this one right? there is a link between this one and this one just because of the space I have written like this so these are the two ways by which uh, the sparse matrix the general sparse matrix can be represented thank you